It beeps and slowly circles a patch of asphalt near Georgia Tech. It's a car that drives but has no driver. And it's a concept that makes perfect sense to Henrik Christensen, its developer, who sees the driverless car one day in military convoys and perhaps on a road near you. Do you anticipate driverless cars in civilian traffic? Probably not the next 10 years. So I think the next, the next number of years, it'll more be to add safety to the cars. The driverless car has sensors and cameras and eight computers designed to prevent it from driving into poles and people and other cars. A little child goes running in front of it, it's going to detect it. We haven't tried that yet, but the basic objective is that the car should be able to detect things like a small child running in front of the car. And the driverless car isn't some garden variety ride. It's a Porsche, which is an automaker that's all about the thrill of driving. This is a Porsche Cayenne. This is a driverless vehicle that could conceivably be driven 160 miles an hour. Absolutely. You'd want to take the driver out of a Buick. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's more, so, so you're right. To get a good look at the driverless Porsche, we rode inside and watched the steering wheel make its often stilted computer-driven adjustments. You've programmed a computer to drive a Porsche like an old lady. Yeah. And we drove alongside to behold the vehicle's driverlessness. The driverless car has been under development for about five months, and its developers say that so far it has a perfect track record, collision-wise. It's never run into anything. So far, it's done really well, you know. But on this day, the record inexplicably and spectacularly fell. It wasn't supposed to run into our car, right? That's not supposed to happen. We did a big accident. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you OK? Yeah. It appears there may be a bit of a glitch. We'll work on that to figure out exactly how, what happened. Dr. Christensen says the collision, thankfully, did not significantly damage the port. <laughs> nor its front-mounted sensor, which he says cost even more than the port. Have you ever taken an accident report on a car that had no driver? No, I haven't. To answer your question, no. Our vehicle wasn't so fortunate, making it, in its own way, the second driverless car on the lot. This was a bit of a setback. In Midtown, Doug Richards, Fox 5 News.